Hey everyone, it's Rachel from Sugar Maple Farmhouse and today we're going to make this rustic, vintage looking heart garland. This would be perfect for Valentine's Day decor. It would also look gorgeous as part of the decor at a rustic wedding and I think it would look super sweet just in a child's room year round too. Let's get started. First, you're going to need your supplies. So you're going to need these wood hearts from Amazon that we simply drilled holes through. You're going to need some sandpaper. You're going to need your paint, something to put your paint in, a paint brush, some twine, this knitting needle or crochet needle, and some tape. And again, I'm using the brown craft paper that we use for every craft project to cover the table. Once you have all that together, it's time to begin. So as I mentioned, we bought these hearts off Amazon and we simply drilled holes through them. So I will put the bit that we use down in the description below so you guys know that. But once you have the holes, then you're gonna go ahead and kind of sand off the rough parts. So you can see here in the back, we have some rough parts. And this will happen with these thinner pieces of wood. It's not the best quality wood, but you're just using this for a craft project so you don't need anything super fancy. But you do want to sand some of this off so you don't unintentionally give yourself a sliver. So once you've drilled your holes, go ahead and start sanding. If you need to pick some of the pieces on the back off, you can go ahead and do that. You'll just know which side is the back. You can go ahead and use your knitting needle to reinforce the holes that you drilled. It's okay if it doesn't look perfect because it's a little rusted, because it's supposed to look a little vintage. If you have a few spots where you're not completely happy with the way the wood looks, it's going to be okay. Once you have everything sanded, you can go ahead and clean up your area and then begin the painting. Make sure that you give your hearts just a bit of a dust off to wipe off any excess wood and wood particles before you paint them. Now that my work area is all clean, I'm gonna go ahead and start painting. So I'm just gonna shake my paint to mix it. And I am using Bear Swiss Coffee. I actually use that on these white mason jars too. I did this project last week and I will link it for you guys. The flowers are going a little bit because it's been a week, but the jars are holding up beautifully. You're not gonna need a lot of paint for this project and you're only gonna need about one coat to create the look that I had on the garland that I showed you in the beginning. If you get paint clogging up your holes, go ahead and use your craft needle and poke it on through. And just make sure you don't have any little drips. As for painting the sides, I kind of wanted this to be as rustic as possible, so I wasn't really crazy about painting the sides perfectly. I just kind of left the paint as is, and I think that it adds to the rustic vintage look. So you'll notice I'm just not being too perfect with the sides for the paint. You're only going to need about one coat of paint for all of your hearts. That's all it took to create the rustic look that I showed you in the beginning on the first one that I made. Also, I'm using my favorite brushes again to paint with. I love these brushes because of the small handle when I'm working with crafts and I will go ahead and link them in the description for you below. Once you've painted the front of your hearts, go ahead and let them dry for about 15 minutes and then do the backs of them. You're only gonna need about 15 minutes because the wood soaks up the paint really well and they dry really quickly. Once you have your hearts all painted, you're gonna take your sandpaper and take your hearts and you're gonna use this to rough up the front of them to give it that vintage rustic look.
Once you're done sanding each heart, go ahead and take your craft needle and push it through the holes just to widen up each hole a little bit. This will help ensure that there's no excess paint, wood, or sand particles in the way. Once you've sanded your heart, so you're going to go ahead and take your tape and you're going to tape off the end of your twine so that it doesn't fray as you're pushing it through the hearts. Once that's done, you're gonna go ahead and roll out your twine. I don't like to cut it because you don't know exactly how long this project might end up depending on how much space you give between each heart. So I'm just gonna go ahead and roll out a good amount of this and then I'm gonna thread the hearts onto it. You're going to want to go ahead and start with your small hearts. There will be more small hearts in the package than there are large hearts. So before I did anything, I actually went through and I laid these out so that I could see how many small hearts I would need and I ended up using all of my big hearts. Once all your hearts are threaded on your twine, you're going to want to go ahead and lay out the whole garland so you can judge the distance between each. You're going to want to make sure that there's about two inches of twine between each heart. Then you're going to go ahead and cut the twine from the roll and tie off each end to complete your project. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed making the heart garland with me, please subscribe to our channel so you can keep up with all of our crafts, DIYs, and everything else we have going on here at Sugar Maple Farmhouse.